Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, I did the Coliseum battle for a beginner. Of course beginner because we are nowhere near ready to take on advance. You're going to want to be... You're going to want to be in your... Uh... At least your 70s before you take on the advance. You actually might want to be in your 80s if I'm being real. And we are not done. So here's something I'm going to do. I'm going to go look at Luke's arts. Steel. Let me see what the F3 chamber will give him. Crap. Well, if I had a grass chamber, I'd give that to him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I can cook my best ingredient for Luke. Uh... Honestly, though, can I have, can he cook sushi? He should be able to cook sushi. Oh yeah, yeah, we, we got plenty of stuff for sushi. All right. Now, in my notes, I put, I don't recommend doing this, at least until you're in your 50s. Because now what we want to do... Hello, this is the single tournament registration. Here you can carry out level selection, entrance fee payment, and participant selection. Once you decide to participate, you can't leave until the tournament is over. Singles tournament. Who's going to participate? Luke. Yes. All right. One last thing I want to do is I just want to double check to make sure we are on normal. Yes, good. All right, let's do it. I'm doing this because this unlocks something in Mr. Miyagi's dojo or Master Miyagi's dojo. Oh, too bad. You were so close. Was it too early for you to challenge the Coliseum? Once you've grown a little stronger, please come back and try again. Everyone, please give a hearty round of applause for our poor loser, Luke. And we're now out 6,000 gold. Yeah, I think I will come back on a different difficulty. Not different difficulty. I will come back on higher levels. So I'll come back at the 50. So we're just out 6,000, which, eh, ain't no big deal. Uh, but completing the it, the uh, singles competition with any character will unlock this thing over here. This is the registration for the new game, Batic. Oh, wait, we can do it now. Oh, let's show this off then. Who would like to participate? Yep. I don't really think you get anything from this. There are like eight rounds of this stuff and they don't do anything to you. Why do I break balloons? Because they're there. It's unknown who uttered the most famous words. But enough about that. It's time for that battle with one's own limits. Batacaloon. And the one who will meet that challenge is Luke. The current record time is 30 seconds. Now use every ounce of strength and cunning you possess. Begin. And that's 30 seconds for all of them. You're dead. Who's next? That's your best? I don't know if you get anything special for doing that. Doing this in the 30 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. 
Too easy. I'm not gonna cook in here. I'm not working on that with him. You're dead. Who's next? Take Who's next? Like I said, I think there's like six or eight rounds. It's goofy. Let's go. And I like how they give them like animations, like they're actual enemies. That's your best. Let's go. Who's next? See ya. Who's next? Who's next? That's your best? Also, the guy doesn't say if you get anything for beating him in the time limit, so I, I don't know. All the games have ended and the score counters are now tallying up the totals. Ah, it seems the scoring has just finished. Your total time this... Your total time this time was 31.75 seconds. It's not a new record, but it's an impressive result. We look forward to your next challenge. So if you really want to waste a thousand gall to keep doing that over and over again, be my guest. I don't think there's any practical reason to do it, but I suppose stranger things have happened. All right, now that we're done with this for a while, let's go back to configuring and put this back on hard. Now that we got that out of the way, there's one last thing I want to do in here before we uh, head on out. Oh, I, by the way, I don't know if I uh, said anything. I don't think I did. But I will be showing off everybody's uh, tournament. Uh, singles competition, that is. On beginner and hard. Um, one of the things I noticed when I was looking for uh, a guide on this is, one... Well, there's a couple things in those, but the first thing I notice is there isn't a guide on this. Like, there isn't a, like, a, like a guide that says, okay, this is the late loadout you should have for this. And it's also a possibility I won't come back and do the, uh, I will do the beginner in this playthrough. But I might actually save the advanced singles for next playthrough and I'm able to like level up quicker. I don't know yet. But first, before we leave, let's come over here to uh, Miyagi's Dojo. And now that we have Batako Baloo, we have Mr. Miyagi's Secret Training. Whoa, I'm impressed you noticed. I sent it for trading. Would you like to give it a try? Yes. Hey, let's just have Luke do it. Let's go. Who's next? And I actually think it's only like three rounds. Who's next? That's your best. But you need to play Batico Balloon in order to unlock it with Miyagi, I believe. That's your best? There is no practical reason for doing this. You're dead! I like how it gives you the boss music, like, you know, this is supposed to be spooky and hard. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? See ya. That's your best? Oh, there's more. You're dead. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? So I hope you're not globophobic. Who's next? Because you're globophobic, well, you're not going to like this episode very much. Who's next? Who's next? Too easy. Let's go. Come on already. Who's next? Take 
Oh, that's how you taunt! Like I said, no practical reason for doing all, all that. All right, now. Can I leave, please? There you go. Hey, guess what time it is for us? We gotta go back to Ketterberg. How am I doing on gold? Uh, 253,000. That's good. We need to, we need to have at least 240,000 at this point. Oh yeah, these uh, people mention uh, Natalia as well. Good day, sir. The people reviled us for the incident with Princess Natalia. There was talk about Princess Natalia being suspected of something. It looks like it all got worked out. The Coliseum is finally open again. Maybe I'll take a look later. Maybe I should check the score to find out who will win. I don't know if that'll work considering they say uh, the score can't tell you about gambling. I heard something about the Battle of Princess being a fake. I didn't check the score about that, so I had no idea that had happened. I did hear that the Coliseum would reopen. There's no better time for business, after all. See, Princess Natalia has returned. We've got nothing to worry about now. Princess Natalia understands us commoners much better than the king does. I haven't heard any reports of General Cecile lately. No, I'm sure she'll return from the war safely. The score said that she would. Good day, sir. A number of holes have opened in the sea. Please be careful. Yes. All right, we're going to Ketterberg, and I'll see you there. Alrighty, y'all, we're back at Ketterberg. Now, while we're back here, we got a couple things we could do. Alright, first thing on my agenda, let's come over here. Are you guys ready to get another title? Well, first things first, let's do this. Will you loan me 200,000 gold? Pay 200,000 gold? Yes. Hand it over 200,000 gold. Fantastic, I thought you looked like you had money to spare. I promise I'll bring this project to fruition. You can expect good things. Luke, are you sure about this? Yeah. <sighs> you always were loose with the purse strings. Shut up. That's it. Now, we have to leave town and come back in here. You see that match over The guy in front of it is the only one who lives there. With all those rules, why doesn't he let other people use them too? But, uh... You have to leave town entirely if you want to go ahead and, uh, do that. I think. You might actually just have to leave the screen. I don't know. We'll check after we're done here. But we got another title we can get. 54,920. Uh, let's go to the second floor. over here. Welcome to the Ketterberg Hotel. Would you be interested in fresh seafood from the Ketterberg Shores? Yes. Let's restock on all our food stuff. We are the only store specializing in high quality cooking ingredients. Perfect, and we still have 40,000 left over. Let's buy some combo. Hold up, though. I want to check something here. I want to go to the third floor before I come here. I don't know if I've tried to do this in this uh, playthrough or not. I know I tried doing it on my save where I'm taking notes. Meow. Meow.
What if I made Tyr my character? What if I equipped the Golden Helm on him? Meow? Alright. Trust me, there's something you can do there later. But I don't exactly remember how to activate it. I don't think I've missed my chance. I don't think I've missed my chance. I might have. I don't know. Interesting. Oh well. Nothing to do there is a complete utter waste of time. Alright, now we want to go back and we want to play the waitress minigame. And before we do that, we want to give Tyr the uh, easy, not the easy going waitress, we want to give her the proud maid title. I think I should be able to, uh,. I think I should be able to do this in the time limit. I am cutting out some minutes, so that's a poss that's a thing. All right. Now we got the proud May title on it. We got Tear as our main character. Let's ride the elevator back down to the second floor. And let's come over here. And like I did last time, I will be having my phone out so I can take a picture of what I'm doing. We're also going to get some decent gold here, so give us a little cushion. We want to talk to this guy. Oh, it's you. I didn't recognize you. That's some outfit. Uh-oh, this is, uh... You came here to work again, right? And you even wore an outfit like that. I love your enthusiasm. Let's get you started right away. Now, hold on just a minute. You already have me. Isn't that enough? Last time was a mistake. You've got me working now, right? Well, yeah, but she was really popular last time. She helped bring in customers. You make it sound as if I don't. Oh, uh, I mean... Listen, you, if you're just playing around, would you please stop? This is my job. Just because your breasts are a little big, you come here dressed like that? All right, fine. Let's settle this. I challenge you to a competition. Come on, don't say that. You two can work together. Quiet, chief. Fire her. We're going to compete to see which of us can earn more money. I'm sorry, not another title, another recipe. That's what I meant. No. Are you going to run away? This is absurd. Come on, Tyr, go for it. And then let's take her money, too. Don't be stupid. Haha, <laughs> she's jealous of you, Tyr. That just shows how attractive you are. Go ahead and play her game. Yeah, it'll be fun for us to watch. Now let's go. <sighs> I hope they don't forget how to properly treat the customers. You don't need an explanation, do you? Are you ready? No, we don't need instructions. Let's go. I don't need one, no. You sound confident enough. Let's go then. Okay. I think I'll be fine. Here they, here they are. You go first. Alright, a mango tea, curry rice, and spicy shrimp.
And it works literally the same way as we did before. Take the orders, they go get the stuff, hit the buttons that correspond with what the customer is asking for, and give it to them at their table. <laughs> this is from the chief. You receive 400 gold. I could do this m much myself, so I'm not going to bother. Now keep going. The table, yes. Naturally. Now go. I think after this one, I'm going to pull on my phone so I can actually uh, take pictures of this screen. Because I'm going to need to. Alright. Cream stew, a mango tea, a mango tea, cream stew. Alright. Easy enough. Two cream stews, two a mango teas. Uh, let's see here. Yep. Cream stew. A mango tea. A mango tea. Cream stew. <laughs> this is from the chief. Eight hundred gold. Hmm, that was just because there weren't many customers. It wasn't even a contest. Now keep going. Yes. Well, of course. Now go. All right. Now, when it gets to, like, five or more, I tend to go in the order that they are on the picture. So, we have to get carrot cake, which is up on the D-pad. Some spicy shrimp. Square. Seafood pasta. More spicy shrimp. A mango tea. And I work counterclockwise. So I start from the left and go to the right. That's just the way I do it. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Just as long as you do it. I think there's six rounds. I don't remember. And the good thing is, there isn't a time limit. They're not rushing you. Because I think in Tales of Vesperia, they actually rush you if you're not going fast enough. And that just gives me so much anxiety. One of the reasons why I don't like dealing with customers. Hmm, this is from the Chief. Alright, 1300 gold. That wasn't too terrible. I'd have done it faster, though. I don't even need to bother. Next. Yes. Now we're getting to the real challenge. Can you handle it? Can you dig this, sucker? So yeah, full transparency. I am using a camera so I can take this down. Alright. I didn't get the best picture there, but oh well. It's not the end of the world. Alright, so we need some curry rice. We need a mango tea. We need Hidoro soup. Some more curry rice. Some more curry rice. And a Karima custard. I'm also going to move my chair out the way so I can back up a little better. And try not to pull my stuff down. Alright, so. The little girl here, she wants some curry rice. The old lady here, she wants some mango tea. The old gentleman here. He wants Hidoro soup. The guy here wants curry rice. This guy also wants curry rice. And this lady here wants Karima custard, if I recall correctly. Yep. As you get older, your memory goes, and that's where I'm at right now. My memory is going, especially my short-term memory. <laughs> this is from the Chief. 2200 gold. N not bad, but it would have been easy for me. 
We're not done yet. Continue. You're probably worn out by now, hmm? Oh, this was a little bit difficult. All right, so. Two seafood pastas for that table. One roast wrap pig. One carrot cake. More seafood pasta. A uh, Nefri cocktail. Hidoro soup. And another roast wrap pig. Alrighty, cool, cool. I hope I'm talking to that person. Well, it doesn't matter. They both want seafood pasta, so... This looks delicious. Roast rat pig. Carrot cake. Person on the bottom wants seafood pasta. Lady here wants a Nefri cocktail. This person wants a roast wrap pig. And this person wants the Heodoro soup. Hmm, this is from the Chief. 4,500 gold. I'm impressed. B but I can handle it easily too. You'll never handle the next group. Even I couldn't do it alone. And you literally have like three seconds to see what is on the screen. So I need to get like, I need to make sure my screen is in focus. Before I take the picture. There we go. Are you really going to do it? There's no way you'll pull it off. All right, we're good. See how long that was up for? I did not even make it to go off. I, it turns off by itself. So first you want roast rat pig, seafood pasta, Hidoro soup, spicy shrimp, another roast rat pig, Cream stew. Carrot cake. And today's special. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I don't know how anybody would have been able to do this back in the day before the cameras were on everybody's phone. this Because this was a 2005 release. Just remember that. I mean, I think there were camera phones out there, but the camera was not the best. They probably had to use like a Polaroid, but even then, the flash would uh, screw up on the TV. So yeah, I don't know. And I would give kudos to anybody who played this game back when it was released and managed to uh, go ahead and uh, get this. All right, we did it. Hmm, this is from the Chief. Yay, 4,500 more gold. No way. How could you do that when I can't? You're inhuman.
That's enough. She's better at handling customers than you are. Chief, you've forgotten what's important about being a server. The point is for the customers to enjoy their meals. Good work. Thanks to you, the restaurant is booming. If you feel like it, please come help out again. You're always welcome. Wait. I lost to you in every way, but you've opened my eyes. I'm going to start over and learn from square one. And we get the fruit cocktail recipe. What's this? My specialty. I'd like you to learn it. Thank you. Don't misunderstand. I'm confident that when it comes to cooking, I'm better than you. So next time we're going to have a cause to see who's the more attractive woman, including cooking. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> but how many more side quests are we going to take on before we finally get back to the story? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. This is Joseph K. signing out. Y'all have a great day and keep it real. Later.